if you put me in a washer. Right, yeah, there's a bit of a misconception with voltage indicating devices. Now, TB118 talks about an appropriate voltage indicator device. Now, there's probably dozens of different versions of this. Now, I've got three or four different versions. And um, so we've got up there, so on there. That's the one we're using here, the socket and CBDD Pro, that's a Martindale one, Volt Stick, Fluke, which is probably one of the most commonly used voltage indicators. That's one made by Kane, Kane International, Kane and May, and then that's the Volt Stick LD50. So, the thing with this is, what voltage did we say earlier on potentially is fatal? Death's being recorded at. Anybody remember? 120. More than that. 60. 60. Death's been recorded at 60 volts. Mm. So, I go down to my local store. Right, yeah, I want to get some voltage testing equipment. I'm going to get myself a volt stick. I'm going to get this fluke one. Very good piece of kit, by the way. But I buy this one and it's sensitive between 200 and 1000. So that's absolutely no use for doing me safe to touch. That LV50 is generally what Northern Gas Network issued to their engineers. Northern Gas Network engineers, even though they're not going to be working on bombs, they work on gas meters. And to prove the gas meter's dead, that's up to 50 volts. Now, the problem with that is, it's very sensitive. I, I touched that TV screen earlier on today, and I've not got a shock off it. Hmm, it's glowing. So it's telling me there's voltage there, it's picking it up through inductance. But it's per perfectly good for testing, is it safe for me to touch that boiler? Obviously before I used it, I've just tested it on that TV, I know how to work it. But generally, we pop it onto a fuse spur, we see that it's operating, so that's safe for me to use. Down the case, across the pipe work, that's safe. Now these things are also useful, besides TV118, safe to touch, they're also good when you come up the fault finding. I've just proved the case is safe for me to touch, so I can remove it. So I can drop the front down. So if I want a quick check, have I got voltage going to my pump, have I got voltage going to my fan, have I got voltage going to my diverter motor, I can get my volt stick and I can put it in there. And I can put it in. So that's great for keeping me safe, but not very good for, have I got voltage? No. So that's where that one comes in. So turn it on. Prove it. Yeah. Now, if I put that onto the wire going to the pump, nothing's happening. I've got a piece of three core flex there. Now it might be that the live conductor is at the front, so I need to move that, there we go. So if you're using one of these to check have you got power going to a piece of three core, it's always best to move it round until it comes on. If you go all the way down the line and it's still flashing using something like this, obviously you've not got power going to it. But going to the fan, yeah, I've got power going to the fan. And to me divert a motor. Divert a motor. Yeah, I've got power going there. So I can prove very quickly without getting a multimeter out if I've got power going somewhere. So that's where some of these others, like that one, that's a socket and seat one, that never turns off. There's a little push button there just for a line. So that one's down to 50 volts. That's what VG engineers are, a lot of VG engineers. I don't know if they still use this one, but they used to do. So that one doesn't glow when we put it in there, but it does when we put it onto there. And this one's actually vibrating, I can feel it vibrating. So I've got power there, I've got power going to the fan. So again, that's probably more appropriate. I know the new cane one that they've, they've launched, oh, that does, because I'm going close to that. That cane one, that goes down to 50. So if you're gonna, if you haven't got one of them, I'd always recommend getting an older one. Don't bother with the fluke one, because it's not appropriate. There is a low voltage fluke one, but not available in the UK. So if anybody's going to America for your holidays, fetch me one back. I'll pay for it. <laughs>